way. Flotsam, jetsam, you divine little vipers. <laughs> I see you've brought a customer. Come in. Come in, my child. We mustn't lurk in doorways. It's rude. One night question your upbringing. My, my. How you've grown. The last time I saw you, you were scarcely a minnow. Is this how they're wearing their hair back at the palace nowadays? Of course, I wouldn't know. I've been banished forever by your dear old daddy. Reduced to living in this wretched hovel for all eternity. And for what? Because I was ambitious? Because I made a few pitiful attempts to elevate my station in life? You tried to overthrow my father. Oh, these things get so blown out of proportion. At any rate, I've reformed. I only do good these days. Now then, you're here because you have a thing for this human, this uh, prince fellow. Not that I blame you. He is quite a catch, isn't he? <laughs> well, Angelfish, the solution to your problem is simple. The only way to get what you want is to become a human yourself. Can you do that? My dear sweet child, that's what I do. It's what I live for. To help unfortunate merfolk like yourself. Poor souls with no one else to turn to. I admit that in the past I've been a nasty. They weren't kidding when they called me, well, a witch. But you'll find that nowadays I've mended all my ways. Repented, seen the light and made a switch. True, yes! And I fortunately know a little magic. It's a talent that I always have possessed. And here lately, please don't laugh, I use it on behalf of the miserable, lonely, and depressed, pathetic, poor, unfortunate souls. In pain, in need, this one longing to be thinner, that one wants to get the girl. Do I help them? Yes, indeed. Those poor, unfortunate souls, so sad, so true. They come flocking to my cauldron, crying, spill! please and I help them yes I do now it's happened once or twice someone couldn't pay the price and I'm afraid I've had to rake and cross the coals yes I've had the odd complaint but on the whole I've been a saint to those poor unfortunate sons yes human for three days. Got that? Three days. Now listen. Before the sun sets on the third day, you've got to get dear old Princey to fall in love with you. That is, he's got to kiss you. Not just any kiss, a special kiss. The kiss of true love. If he does kiss you before the sun sets on the third day, you'll remain human permanently. But if he doesn't, you turn back into a mermaid and... Belong to me. No, Ariel, don't be stupid. Don't. Have we got a deal? If I become human, I'll never be with my father or sisters again. That's right. But you'll have your man. <laughs> Life's full of tough choices, isn't it? <laughs> well, come on. I know you need a little magic. And magic is my specialty du jour. Don't just stand there looking sick. Would I kid you? Play a trick like I told you. I don't do that anymore. So I think you ought to take my little bargain. Yes, I think you ought to make my little deal. Sure, it's hard to leave your life, but you could be a prince's wife. Why don't you let me take that dream and make it real? Oh, 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 yes, I almost 
for God, we haven't discussed the subject of payment. You can't get something for nothing, you know. But I don't have any. I'm not asking. Just a token, really. A trifle. You'll never even miss it. What I want from you is... Your voice. My voice? You got it, sweet cakes. No more talking, singing, zip. But without my voice, how can I... You'll have your looks, your pretty face. And don't underestimate the importance of the body language. Ah, the men up there don't like a lot of blabber. They think a girl who gossips is a bore. Yet on land it's much preferred for ladies not to say a word. And after all, dear, what is idle prattle for? Come on, they're not all that impressed with conversation. True gentlemen avoid it when they can. But they don't inform me fawn on the lady who's withdrawn. It's she who holds her tongue who gets a man. Come on, you poor unfortunate soul. Go ahead. Make your choice. I'm a very busy woman, and I haven't got all day. It won't cost much. Just your voice. You poor unfortunate soul. It's sad, but true. If you want to cross a bridge, my sweet, you've got to pay the toll. Take a gulp and take a breath and go ahead and sign the scroll. Got some checks up now, I've got her, boys. The boss is on. This poor, unfortunate soul! Thou makes us well, like a set, neck laryngitis, thou don't say to me. Now sing! <laughs> 